Hi, I'm Sapin Tia. This is a very introductory stat course for beginners. Fundamentals 4. What is the statistical hypothesis and error? In prior class, we learned about p-value. The p-value is probability value. If any event occurs with less than 5% probability, it could be interpreted that this event is not occurred by chance. So, we can reasonably guess there is a causal relationship. However, if any event occurs with larger than 5% probability, it could be interpreted that this event is occurred just by chance. Consequently, we can conclude that there is no causal relationship. Additionally, I said, statistical significance and practical significance are totally different. Okay, today we will study about statistical hypothesis and error. Um, as I know, in most cases, uh, um, statistical hypothesis is uh, just uh, simply treated, it is not important. However, I think it is very important for understanding the basic statistical uh, meaning. If you have uh, uh, checked uh, your um, statistic books, any textbook, maybe you have seen this kind of uh, um, like an equation. Exactly, it is not equation. However, anyway, you have maybe solve this kind of things. Here, H means hypothesis. So there are, there are two hypotheses here. So what is that? Um, first of all, we have two hypotheses when we talking about the uh, statistical hypothesis. The first one is uh, H0. We call it null hypothesis. Here, I describe the null hypothesis is D a minus b equal zero. Here, you must remember equal zero. Actually, the meaning of a null is vacant or nothing. This null hypothesis means there is no statistical event. There is nothing. On the other hand, H1, sometimes H a is called alternative hypothesis. Here, the major focus of alternative hypothesis is not equal zero. Not equal zero. The alternative means that this hypothesis alternates null hypothesis. So, it means that there is a significant statistical event. So what? Let's come up with the 10 cases as gross case. Okay, based on this story, I made a statistical hypothesis. First one is a null hypothesis and second one is a alternative hypothesis. First one here. D means difference. What kind of difference? Here, in prior study, uh, we just want to know, okay, the new promotion strategy is uh, successful or effective or not. Anyway, in that case, if the 10K sales growth is occurred by chance, the promotion strategy is not effective. In this case, there is no statistical significance. 
the null hypothesis here d a minus b means the difference between average 10 year same month sales and last month sales if this is zero of course i mean the 10k is not equal zero statistically equal zero or not i mean that things so if null hypothesis is right this one is right it implies that the two numbers the two numbers are here this number and this number are statistically same statistically same you must remember that statistically same and it means that the 10k sales growth is just occurred by chance otherwise if alternative hypothesis is right it means that 10k sales growth is not occurred by chance so it means that there is a reasonable reason such as a new promotion strategy it means that the new promotion strategy is statistically significant and it is successful so how can we decide which one is right between null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis the choice between null and alternative hypothesis totally depends on the p-value. P-value. If p-value is less than 0.05, we should determine the alternative hypothesis is right. If p-value is larger than 0.05, it confirms the null hypothesis is right. Simply speaking, the probability that 10k sales growth is occurred by chance is less than 5%, statistically significant. It means that the new promotion was statistically significant. It was effective and successful because of the new promotion strategy the 10k sales growth is occurred however if the p value is larger than five percent the 10k sales growth is just simply occurred by chance so uh, can you understand what's going on here Here, the statistical hypothesis is kind of a tool for deciding between the two decision making based on the p-value, 0.05. But where does the 0.05, 5% come from? Um, here, we need to consider the statistical error. Before we test the probability of an event, we must accept that our test, our statistical test could be wrong. So, here we have two categories with two rebels. First one is a uh, real truth. It means that um, is it really truth in real world? So the first category is real truth. The other category is statistical test. And these two categories has also two rebels. First one is a null hypothesis true, null hypothesis first. Null hypothesis is true, null hypothesis is false. So let me see here. If in real world the null hypothesis is true and our test resulted, okay, the null hypothesis is true, yeah, there is no problem, it's okay. Likewise, if in real world the null hypothesis is false, 
and then our result statistical test result is also null hypothesis is fault in that case no problem yeah no problem the problem is two case this one and this one um between two uh, errors uh, someone asked me which one is more uh, big problem i think uh, and in most cases the type 1 error is more problematic because in real world the null hypothesis is true it means that not significant however if our test shows null hypothesis first it means that it is significantly statistically significant sorry so it means that okay even it is not significant our test just to show a significant result it is big problem so here we call uh, the type 1 error as alpha and type 2 error as beta this alpha this alpha is the reference number 0 0.05 so where comes the 5% rule from? It comes from the type 1 error. Okay. What does it mean there? Strictly speaking, the reference number p value 5% means we accepted 5% type 1 error with our statist statistical test. Um, if we using the prior example, it can like uh, interpret this. Though we found the 10k sales growth is statistically significant, we must accept this result could be wrong under 5% chance. However, this kind of interpretation is very very difficult. So. It is very easy and I think a more um, useful just to like understand like this. The probability that any event is occurred by chance is the p-value. Okay? Because when you interpret the result, it is very, very logical. Because, okay, any event is occurred uh, just by chance. It means that there is no causal relationship. In this case, maybe we have a larger 5% p-value because mm, it is not rare, okay? However, if we have a less than 5% p-value, it means that, okay, this event is occurred very, very rarely. So it can be understood as a, um, this event is not occurred just by chance not by chance i mean so the exact meaning of the five percent and we need to know where it comes from however it is better it is good to know this this meaning is like this the probability that an event is occurred by chance is the p-value in our test this is the p-value okay i will stop here today fundamentals 4 what is the statistical hypothesis and error